This video is to show you how to create a manual assessment on Illuminate. So, as always, you're going to start at the website, dmuhsd.illuminateedforeducation.com. And once you get there, you're going to sign in with Google, the red bar. Okay. Yours is probably going to take you in. My account's a little different, so I have to tell it where I'm going. And then you get in here to your dashboard. And I need to change something on my account. So just a reminder again, the control panel is where you can find lessons and videos on anything um, that you might want to do. Showing my students and my students information here. For manual assessment, you're going to go over to assessments and go down to create a new assessment and then of course you're going to choose the manual option. Okay, You still need to know how many questions are going to be on your test or are on a test you already have that you're going to be um, you're going to be making an answer key for. So you can, you can use manual for either creating a whole new test or you can use manual for an old test that you're going to upload into the system and you could possibly even give that test online now if you want to and you'll also have a an answer sheet that'll be easy to scan to grade um, that already existing test of yours so I'm just going to say I have 10 questions and okay so you have to put a title so let's just say this is library science test number one. And the more information you put, the easier it will be to search for it or for somebody else that you might want to share it with to search for it. Um, for scope, um, I would just put teacher created because this is one that you are creating again. Um, if you're a content specialist, you might be making the district benchmark and then you'd want to choose that one. But um, for anything that's just um, for your own class, you can do teacher created. And then you're going to pick the grades. You know, I could theoretically have all students in mind. So then down here, we're going to save. And now here's where it gives me all my setup options. So once we've named the test and, and done that part, we get into this area where we have all these different options and we can go through them one by one. Right now we're working on the questions, but we're going to come back here later. Um, so depending on the type of question, if you are giving a um, multiple choice, A, B, C, D, any of that stuff, you're going to put those answers in. That's pretty easy. Okay. And um, then let's say maybe you have some true and false. Okay. And we're going to have to go in and um, set these questions up on the um, in the options up here later, but for now I'm just going to put them in. And then and let's say we have a written response that we're going to grade on a rubric. And I'm going to do mine on a four point rubric because um, that's the easiest, right? And then I would save it. Okay, now I want to make sure I go in for questions six through nine. And um, <coughs> to do that, I go to my sheet designer. Because by default, it's all set up A, B, C, D, E. So for questions six through nine, I need to change the responses. The only responses available are going to be true and false. And then everything else is going to be empty. So I need to make sure I set that up. Okay.
But then for the um, for the response down here, it already it already has number ten set up to be a a scored on a rubric written response. So I don't really have to do anything with that. Okay. So okay. So, so here we go, and here's my question 10. Make sure you run a scroll up and you have your one, two, three, four. Okay, so I'm going to apply down here. So that's all applied now. And then I go back to my setup options. And the only other thing I want to show you now, you can go through all these, you can um, align some standards to each question if you wanted to, if you wanted to be able to, on the back end, analyze um, how students did based on standards, you can um, add those in here, or you can add them in later, and I'll show you how to do that in another video. But the only other main option I wanted to show you, aside from questions, sheet designer, um, is materials. Because here's where you could make like I said, a hybrid of a test you've already given. You could upload a test if you had it on um, on Word or a PDF. You could upload a test to attach in here. You know, I'm just gonna randomly pick something. attach here. Okay. So theoretically, if I have a test uploaded into here, I could now administer this test online. And I would set that up. And what would happen is, is my test would appear in the window over here. And then there would be like an online answer sheet matching the answer sheet I just chose over here where they could click on the bubbles and then type in their little essay at the bottom. So um, that's how you could make a manual test, kind of a hybrid of one you've already given. Um, so in any case, here we are back to our back to our main setup of questions. The next step, of course, that we would want to do is go over to administration. We would want to print our answer sheets for this test. So we could either print them pre-slugged with all the students' information embedded into it, so it would, it would be for those individual students only, or we could print a blank one and make copies and the students would bubble in their IDs. So either way, whichever one you prefer, you'd print those, then you'd give your test, and then you would go, once you're done and ready, you would go ahead and you would go scan your answer keys. Now when you're on Chrome, which I am on, and I suggest you should also be on Chrome when using this, you would choose the option to continue without down here, and then you'd be able to scan in all your, your answer sheets here and save your results. So that's the basics for a manual test. And again, I'm always here to help if you need extra help.